Hey there everybody what is going on my name is Aditya and welcome back to another brand new video regarding semantic UI theming process. So in today's video we are going to be creating just a little index.html to test our things on because we don't have anything just yet. So let's just jump right into the code. So what I'm going to be doing over here is I'm going to be creating a new file inside of the semantic uh, folder. Now I'm going to be using the basically advanced new file plugin that I installed for the cement uh, for the sublime text. So the file will be called as index.html and let's just go ahead and check out the snippet of the HTML and the title will be semantic UI theming course. Okay, uh, that sound was weird. Okay, uh, I'm seeing okay a lot of times meta tag which will be having the care set of UTF hyphen eight and obviously there will be a responsive snippet. Let's just see if it is there inside of the. I I don't know. Okay, uh, that's why I'm checking it. Snippet. What kind of snippets are there? Meta. No. Snippet. I want the snippet for for the one that is not over here. I guess it is not over here. Yeah, never mind. So this is going to be the title, and we are going to be requiring a CSS file. So we are going to be simply pressing the link over there, where we are being going to specify dot slash this slash um, semantic dot min dot css now for now we are not going to be requiring any javascript code so i'm going to be leaving it like that and let's just see if that really works so i'm going to be creating a but a container let's just say for the first ui container and then i'm going to be creating a button which will be red in color and it will have the text of hi there now in case you don't know any of these things just go ahead and watch my semantic UI series first which will be linked down in the description box below uh, most probably if not you can always go ahead and google it because that's I guess the most the top most result right now not really but okay hi there and I'm gonna be opening up my chrome I'm gonna be pressing control O and no 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 don't watch anything don't watch anything don't watch anything today is holy so that's why it is showing me something like that and I'm gonna be getting in the code and semantic by the way don't watch anything means watch everything see I watch PewDiePie index.html that's I care what I care about so basically there's this button over here hi there it took a little bit of time to load obviously that was supposed to happen so we got a button baby okay uh, let's just go ahead and install the Amazon theme for the button and then we'll be seeing what exactly I'm talking about so under the themes there's the button and I'm gonna be specifying Amazon for the button and you know in the last uh, tutorial that I had done this is what I had basically done so that's why people were pissed off at me uh, I'm gonna be specifying girl build right now so it will take a couple of moments in order to go ahead and build the gulp till that time I can go ahead and go under the themes and make sure I have spelled Amazon correctly because I'm bad at spellings on video only in person I'm not that bad at spellings so I don't know you can go ahead go through these files views modules the global override is and it is creating the files right now what are we doing with our life we are somewhere stuck under this tree of semantic UI's creation process you can use gulp watch by the way which will be watching for the file changes and automatically it will be creating the new semantic dots mean dot CSS every single time you are pressing control s on your semantics uh, what we say a uh, file so yes there we go and I'm gonna be removing uh, the red option from over here and let's just go ahead and see how exactly it does 
and there we have the button so let's just say the button is primary button because that's what we want most probably and yeah that's the amazon type of styling right there so this is going to be it for this video this is how we go ahead and theme inside of the semantic way this, this was just a quick spoiler and uh, we're going to be taking a look at a lot of things a ton of things inside of this course so anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video if you love this video just go ahead and slap that like button and peace out